What's going on you guys, Jay here and welcome back to the channel. So it's the 1st of October and LUNC is looking very good today. So don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Today we're diving into something that's heating up, which is those monthly LUNC burns coming from Binance. We're seeing another chunk of over 1.1 billion LUNC, which has just been burned by the CEX, but could something even bigger be on the horizon? Well, let me kind of break this down for you and give you my perspective on things. Okay, so if you're new to LUNC, which is actually quite a lot of people at the moment, we are seeing a rise in new wallets on chain. Binance has basically been committed to regular burning of LUNC, reducing the circulating supply month after month. Even with the recent leadership change where CZ stepped down as CEO, Binance has made it quite clear they're sticking to their monthly LUNC burn commitment. In fact, Richard Ten confirmed that the burns are actually here to stay. This steady reduction in supply might not seem like much right now, but over time, it's actually having a big impact on the LUNC ecosystem, and it's allowing us to thrive with a very strong narrative that remains consistent. And we just don't see this with any other coins in the cryptocurrency sphere. It's specifically LUNC that they've chosen to support. And the only other coins we know of Binance committing to regular burns is BNB, and they make quarterly burns each and every quarter. So once again, this is a significant thing for our blockchain and the fact that they've remained committed is even better. Okay, but here's a big question. Why isn't USTC being burned in the same way? Binance is in fact the largest custodial holder for not only LUNC, but USTC as well. Yet we've only ever seen the focus on those LUNC burns. If we look at our current trajectory, once TFL have ejected, they've burned all of their USTC and LUNC assets. The percentage that Binance owns on a custodial basis is going to be far greater than it's ever been before. Maybe it's time for the LUNC community to actually come together and get a signaling proposal up, asking Binance to commit to monthly USTC burns in a similar manner. Imagine the effect it could have on the circulating supply, long-term prospects of USTC, repeg efforts, and overall positive momentum if Binance were in fact on board with USTC burning. But wait, let's put our tinfoil hats on for a second and talk about something that's a little bit more exciting. The potential for this massive LUNC burn that we've always thought about when it comes down to the amount of accumulation on Binance's exchange. Some really are speculating that they could perform a one-time massive burn from all of the fees collected over time that are not burned alongside those monthly LUNC burns. And of course, it's going to be a significant amount. The percentage that they commit to the burning is not that much in comparison to what they're actually raking in. We've actually seen something like this before. Remember when Vitalik Buterin burned over 400 trillion ship coins because he felt the power was too great? Could Binance follow a similar path? One, well, nothing is confirmed here. The idea of Binance performing a colossal burn could have a substantial impact on LUNC's long-term potential. When we actually take a look at the trading activity on Binance, despite the burns, the LUNC and USTC trading volume isn't as high as you would expect. Given the levels of accumulation we're seeing on Binance, compared to other CEXs like MEXC, which actually trades both LUNC and USTC with zero fees, the trading volume on Binance still stands out. The amount of coins being held there stands out significantly because we're just not seeing it on any of these other top tier exchanges really providing better benefits. And I myself use and utilize MEXC as my number one exchange because of the specific fact there are zero fees. This raises a very curious question. Why is Binance accumulating more LUNC and USTC than other exchanges? Even with no fee trading elsewhere, it's still a mystery that could hint at something bigger, possibly related to their long-term strategy, 
with these assets. And when we take a look at how big of a hit Binance took during the crash, it was substantial. They are a player in the space that is here for the long run. So what's next? Could we see Binance ramping up their burn efforts, not just for LUNC, but for USTC as well? It's up to the community to really decide on these things and a signal proposal could be the first step in encouraging Binance to adopt a monthly USTC burn. This would significantly reduce the circulating supply on top of the overall effort that is currently in play. After all, Binance holds the key to making a huge difference in the supply of both LUNC and USTC. The burns are making an impact, but with the community's involvement, we could push for even more. Something that's actually quite heavily misunderstood is the relationship that the Terra Classic chain has with Binance. And originally, when we wanted them to burn, we got together as a broader community to get our message across. And I truly think there is a day out there when Binance could initiate USTC burning. But what I know is they're not going to act on anything unless we raise our concerns, unless we get a signaling proposal out there and we begin to get this conversation flowing. We can always join these Binance spaces that they do as we have done in the past. The burning's going to continue and with each month, Binance is helping to bring the LUNC supply down, but we could see an even bigger move in the future and it is definitely time for USTC to get the same treatment. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's worthwhile pursuing Binance to get them to initiate USTC burns or do you think we should leave the largest custodial holder for now USTC as well. What do you think about all of the TFL burning and the fact that they really are going to be the largest percent holder out there when it comes down to these LUNC and USTC assets? It's such a huge part of our community and it's always been an ongoing mystery. But let me know in the comment section, what do you think is the reason for Binance committing to these monthly burns for so long. It's not like they get anything in return. They don't really promote them. They don't use and utilize them to get more people to actively come to their exchange. Instead, it's a very silent method of burning and it's down to people like us to get it out there, report on it and show it to you the community. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you had a lovely week and it is the 1st of October, supposedly October. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm more of a cake kind of guy. I like to see the proof in the pudding at this point. But look, aside that, just stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Choo!